Let me show you how to create this isometric type effect in Adobe Illustrator. Choose the type tool and write your word. I am using Montserrat bold font. You can follow these settings. To get this character panel, go to Window, Type, Choose Character. Now let's change the text color to light blue. I will show you the color number so you can follow along. Now go to Window, Choose Transform. Make sure to unlink the width and height. Now right here, 86.602% and then press Enter. Right in the shear box, minus 30 degrees and press Enter. Right in the angle box, 30 degrees and press Enter. Now go to Effect, 3D, choose Extrude and Bevel. Set these three angles to 0 degrees. Now drag this square up a bit like this. You can change the extrude depth from here. Change the surface to no shading. When you finish press OK. Now go to Object and choose Expand Appearance. Again go to Object and choose On Group. Do it multiple times. Select these letters on top while holding the shift button. Group them by pressing Ctrl G. Hold shift and press the up arrow key a number of times. Now select over everything underneath. Let's change its color, I will give you the color numbers later on. Now go to Window and choose Pathfinder. Press Ctrl Y to view the outline mode. Click on the first icon to unite all shapes. Press Ctrl Y again to turn off outline mode. Select the upper text, hold Shift and use the down arrow key to put it back on its place. Now select the lower part of the text, go to Object, Arrange, choose Send to Back. Now again select the lower part of the text, go to Edit and choose Copy. Again go to Edit and choose Paste in Back. Hold Shift and use the down arrow key to nudge that down. Let's change its color. I will give you the color numbers later on. Keep on watching. Now again select the lower part of the text. Go to edit and choose copy. Again go to edit and choose paste in back. Hold shift and use the down arrow key to nudge that down. Let's change its color. We will copy and paste in back two more times like we did before. Select the lower part of the text, go to Edit and choose Copy. Again go to Edit and choose Paste in Back. Hold Shift and use the down arrow key to nudge that down. Let's change its color. Let's repeat this process one more time. Select the lower part of the text, go to Edit and choose Copy. Again go to Edit and choose Paste in Back. Hold Shift and use the down arrow key to nudge that down. Let's change its color. Let's scale it while holding the Shift button. Go to Object and choose Group. Now let me show you each color's number. You can hit pause and copy each color's number.
Now let's center the text in the middle of this artboard. Go to Window and choose Align. Choose Align to Artboard. Center it horizontally and vertically. Scale it while holding the Shift button. Let's add a background colored rectangle. Let's choose a dark color. Go to Object, Arrange, choose Send to Back. That's it. Leave a comment below and I will try to answer all of your comments.